Thank you for the introduction, Chair. Um, I am Dr. Antonio Pallotti, a research supervisor in technoscience and head of the computational graphology laboratory at the Department of Human Science and promotion of the life quality at Sarafari University of Rome. PhD student at the Department of Management and Law to the Garden University of Rome. The work that I will show you, as in the title, is a collaboration under my supervision, Dr. Valentina Romilla, at the Department of Movement, Human and Health Science at the Foro Italico University of Rome, Professor Emanuele Piuzzi at the Department of Information Engineering, Electronics and Telecommunication at La Sapienza University of Rome, and Dr. Albani, Director of the Severe Cerebral Disease Department at Gravadona Hospital in Como, and Head of the Parkinson Center at Villa Caramora, Italian Axiological Institute, IRX. As you can see, entities and members of different organizations, such as universities, uh, hospitals, and private companies, participate in the design as a co-design of the assistance service. Within this project, a public-private partnership between the university and the private company is being defined for the establishment of a joint public university private company laboratory with the aim of developing new prototypes and new models for the home care service with an optical of co-production of service in public-private partnership. Let's start with a brief introduction in which we will talk about the context in which the project develops and its goals. During the last three years, health services around the world have had to deal with the emerging cause by COVID-19. In this period, in order to reduce the infection, hospitals had to interrupt some therapies, leaving patients without treatment. To solve this issue, health services develop the medicine service to follow patients at distance. But for this tenant, the World Health Organization defines the telemedicine as delivery of healthcare of healthcare services where patients and providers are separated by distance. One of this of one of the branches of telemedicine is telemonitoring and telerehabilitation. In particular, in the, in the context of the COVID-19, telerehabilitation services were developed for disease affecting the cardiorespiratory system and to COVID-19 disease to provide remote rehabilitation to people distant from the usual therapeutic setting. Naturally, wearable devices and EOT Internet of Things frameworks are key elements for the development of telerehabilitation <laughs> and more in general, telemedicine services. In fact, this kind of solution need to signal and data acquire directly to the patient and then send to physicians or to the rehabilitation team in order to evaluate the dispensary rehabilitation problem, its effects and the impact on the patient and the response of it. Conventional rehabilitation protocols are based on monitoring vital parameters such as heart rate and they propose respiratory exercises and motor activation exercises. The application structure in this, was, uh, in this was shows positive effects such as a reduction in muscle weakness and is near a better adaptation to muscular effort and a return to activities of daily living. But the traditional approach is generally operator dependent and it is influenced by the patient attention in complying with the proposed reputation problem when it is, when it is carried out at all, in absence of the rehabilitator. On the other hand, telerehabilitation services are defined in the national healthcare system as the remote provision of services intended to enable, restore, improve, or otherwise maintain the psychophysical functioning of people by using telerehabilitation services. The cost-benefit ratio is improved because the effects of professional rehabilitation are preserved, such as high level of physical activity, but some barriers are broken down 
such as travel to medical center. Finally, the health the healthcare costs related to patient hospitalization will be reduced with the possibility to increase the number of users. And also, thanks to the use of wearables and EOT systems, a real-time monitoring is possible. This means that medical staff will be able to better monitor adherence to the rehabilitation protocol and will be able to evaluate the rehabilitation results in terms of particular parameters. In this presentation, we propose, we as a group, the architecture, infrastructure, and the essential element of a tender habitation framework, including quantitative movement monitoring based on wearable devices. The data will be transmitted to an application used by the patient and a web platform for the habitation team. The service will be based on the Internet of Things. Concept. The study focuses on the presentation of the wearable system and our main contribution consists of a feasibility study performed to assess the minimum number and placement of sensors that can monitor quantity and intensity of a selected list of rehabilitation exercises. In the, following, in the following slide I will show you the wearable system that uh, will be used for the rehabilitation framework. The system is composed by a sensor ID shirt, a name bag, and by two sensor cells. The sensor ID shirt show in this lab will be used to monitor electrical cardiac activity, heart rate, respiratory rate, oxygen saturation, and body temperature. These parameters are crucial to monitor the subject health status while performing physical exercise. A one lead ECG will be measured using a commercial device, placing two electrodes on the chest near the arms and one on the right side at the level of the abdominal area. The CG monitoring will act as an alarm tool to the, the, the patient can safely perform the exercise protocol. Finally, the respiratory rate is connected to give on uh, two axis uh, sensors. The proposed sensor socks uh, are the system prototype uh, for the system project developed by our research group, which socks integrate some type of force sensor, in this case, for a sensor. And on the end, we can find the back equipped with another nine axis sensors, a MIMO sensor. Uh, the transmission unit is composed by a mobile application designed using the online Meetup Inventor tool that is free, you can download it uh, on Google. Uh, the application collects the, all the data from the wearable devices through the Bluetooth communication with the Arduino boards. The system guarantees the secure transmission of data with private, private credential and Google Firebase is certified according to the main privacy and security European standards. As a preliminary action to the development of the television service, a feasibility study was performed on a female participant. For this feasibility study, uh, it, uh, it was used a commercial MIMO sensor, uh, we designed an experimental setup, uh, so as you can see in the figures. Uh, the exercise protocol includes strengthening exercises for the upper and lower limb, aerobic and breathing exercise, and we're performing in different settings. Laying down, sitting in a chair with, uh, without a backrest, standing up with or without a reference, crouch or walk. The aim of the feasibility study is to verify, first of all, if and which sensors are the way are to capture the patient's movement, but after that, it is fundamental to understand which sensor can characterize the movement, quantity, and intensity, while the participant in performing in the exercise. So we are searching for the minimum sensor setup that must be used in the EOT-based teleradiation system. That acquired by the commercial sensor, we are processing using the metal software. So this is a representation of a first segmentation of the signal with a type of filter, in this case pattern of filter. In this class, 
there is a comparison of two signals acquired by the rib sensor and by the trick sensor during the half squat exercise. In particular, we have on top the ribs uh, gyroscope signal in which uh, we have done further repetition that were detected. And then, in order to have an intensive assessment and also to be sure that it's a big detection operation, all identify the exercise repetition and not other non informative peaks. So, to obtain and uh, define information for the physician in uh, the teleconsultation. The table shows uh, the results of the visibility study uh, for the detecting the correct quantity of repetition, the correct intensity from trunk sensor and from pelvic level with relevant reference sensor. In particular, the quantity repetition are indicated with the Q letter and, the, and the, it is considered correct number if the number of repetitions counted by the device trunk sensor is equal to the repetition counted with the reference, with the reference sensor in a tolerance of less than one repetition per exercise. The preliminary investigation suggests that using the sensors placed on the trunk is very difficult to monitor the exercise of the lower limb. To solve this issue, it is necessary to apply the record sensor to acquire data on lower limbs of exercises. So, in conclusion, the minimum um, number of sensors for this task has been identified to integrate and use it in the proposed wearable system. Uh, future development, first of all, uh, is to use the wearable sensor in the home care setting uh, with a teleconsultation with the physician. And, uh, As I showed you, uh, it is a member of different organizations, uh, such as universities, uh, in particular universities of Rome, hospitals and private companies participate in the design as a co-design of the assistance service. Within, within this project, a public-private partnership between the university and the private company is being defined for the establishment of a joint public university private company laboratory with the aim of developing new prototypes and models for the home care service. We have an optical of co-production of services in public for a private partnership. This is uh, the full team of the University Hospital Technoscience Company that has contributed to the project so far, consisting of university professors and researchers, physicians, PhD students, undergraduates and interns. Thank you for your attention and if you have any questions, I am at your disposal. These are my contacts. I greet you with my virtual hour. Thank you very much for your presentation. Well, making us dreaming, yes. seeing the, the technology and the technology. And hopefully this technology can be used not only for the application in health, but also for other, of course. Um, so uh, the, the floor is yours about question of clarification, and then we move to general discussion. Yeah, please. Yeah. Hello. Thank you for your presentation. I'm just getting one question. Um, the, the wearable that you developed, is it planned to be worn by an individual just during the exercises of the rehabilitation, or just the whole day? Uh, the, uh, the application has different fields. Uh, the medical field uh, is related to the, in particular to the elderly population for the uh, daily rehabilitation, in particular with the uh, respiratory disease. But another application is the sport field. So during the exercise, during the training, you can use to evaluate your performance. Another application is the uh, working safety. So uh, if you are tired uh, during uh, the guidance uh, or in the car, uh, we can monitor your status and we can give you an alert. So depends by the application, depend by the people, uh, we can set uh, the framework uh, for a personalized uh, model. Thank you. Thank you. 
So we can move to the now to the general discussion of, about the two papers. So feel free to pose any question about the two papers.